this is logical MGTOW. Um, <clears throat> this one will be directed to uh, McHenry Cruiser. I have watched a number of his videos. I therefore understand him better than he understands himself. And no, that doesn't make me Einstein. That does make me the the Mr. Know It All, or whatever. But the basic fact is, is that <clears throat> um, <clears throat> recent, not so recently, really. He's been um, going against um, the MGTOW Manosphere and also directly towards and against um, many MGTOW members, um, one of them being Mr. Hate Vicious. Um, the one thing is, is that he doesn't realize that, um, that as I've commented on his, on one of his videos, is that, um, he has a complexity that basically is like Obama, and and I've said to him I respect Obama um, as a person, but his, his political policies I don't agree with, because and, and thereby I have my own reasons. But at the same time, it's log logistics goes into it. But, um, of course, everybody has their own ways of looking at logistics, too. But in any case, McHenry has a, a complexity within himself that um, basically is making him feel that in order to express himself, he has to be on his camera phone or his, or and, and, and like, and like where he has to um, um, generally go to the points of um, directing his his thoughts, his demeanor, if you will, um, and the only way to do it is by getting those who he doesn't know to pay attention to him, um, and in the MGTOW manosphere. Uh, and also known as the as what the WWE calls the WWE universe, we can also consider the MGTOW universe. Um, <clears throat> the um, the um, basic fact is is that there's many people like this. Okay, there's many people like this, and that is that that they have a complexity where where in order to feel like they're being paid attention to, they need someone to talk to, even if they do already have some people to talk to. But yet at the same time, not, not, which is which is normal, not all the time, not all the time that the, they ha those same people that they have to talk to within their lives, within their cir circle, if you will, um, are always around to to talk talk with and talk to and. And express how we feel and what have you else, which and which is which is normal. But the one thing is, is that um, um, just like um, Undertaker Freak one two two seven or whatever um um one one twenty seven essentially um um he has the same complexity, but it's a different different level. Um, but he knows how to handle it better than, and I, from what I could tell, it's better than, um, um, McHenry Cruiser. And you can call it, uh, attention deficit disorder. You can call it, um, any number of things that even correlate to that. Um, um, although people would, uh, um, the MGTOW universe or MGTOW manosphere would also consider this only towards women, but also they will try to um, direct it towards the male gender as well, and that go against the MGTOW manosphere, and that would be in the sense of outside the base of what women are called in 
and what it is attention holders. Um, but the one thing is, is that I say that um, McHenry has the the aspect of of where he needs more than the abundance of attention. He may not care who or if or if or if anybody um, pays attention to him. But the one thing is, is that if he really didn't really care, he wouldn't be putting himself on on the social media site known to be YouTube to start with and Instagram to express himself, which which he has a right to. And and many of you MGTOW members know me also to be a humanitarian advocate and a citizen advocate and a disability advocate and a and a education advocate and business advocate and what have you else and also a health advocate. But here's the one thing though too. Many of you MGTOW members and followers know me also to have a page known as Logical Psychiatry because I have my own knowledge of psychiatry and that's why I'm on, that's part of the reason why I'm on here. But here you see the one thing is is that I guess uh, I've I've uh, talked to uh, I've talked to many many people about this and um and I've seen many different cases of it actually as well. And McHenry is a normal human being just like anybody else. He has a complexity of wanting the attention so much that he has to act like he's someone he's not. Um he calls himself he can he called himself the hero of women. Thereby he claims to be the hero of feminism trying to tear be in a one man army to tear down the MGTOW manosphere to try to get us MGTOW men back to the plantation so that women can try to get at, at the MGTOW members, male members' uh, resources and whatnot. But the one thing is, is that he doesn't realize is that the MGTOW manosphere is huge. It's more than global. It's m extremely more than global. It's more than widespread. The one thing is that is that in many cases he may feel like McHenry may feel like he's alone, and many people do feel alone. That's a that's a normal that's a normal um, human human feeling or human sense, if you will, as well. Nobody likes feeling alone. Nobody likes feeling ignored or displaced or anything like that. But the one thing is is that McHenry can go about it a different way. I'm not gonna force him to. Nobody in the MGTOW manosphere can really fo force a person to be a certain way or to do a certain thing. And I've said to to uh, McHenry that he needs psychological help, emotional psychological help, and I can help him, but he really needs to want the help, and also to the points of accepting it. But the one thing is, is that it, and from what I've even watched his, um, I watched his uh, his video when it came to introverts. He's not an introvert. And he may say that he care he doesn't care about what people say or think about him. But yet he obviously does. Cause he's been going against Mr. Hate Vicious for some time now. And going after one person really doesn't solve your issues within yourself. Or the fact that you feel alone within the plantation. Or that you feel um, that uh, you have nobody to really relate to. 
We also have another uh, person that used to be considered call him. They used to call himself essentially um, a MGTOW member. His name is Alec Fleming. He's been using the MGTOW acronym, if you will, um, to get attention. Many like many feminist women have been doing. Um, and yet, Alec Fleming has been has been um, trying to act like he's using MGTOW philosophies, even after saying that he's glad he's not MGTOW anymore. Yet he's using his own philosophy, and his own philosophy is obviously getting the attention of many many people, just like McHenry is getting the attention of many many people. When I was when I had a particular discussion with McHenry at one at one point, he even he while claiming that he's a hero to wom women, he booted off a woman because she did not agree with what he what he was saying and or what he was truly about. Mm, that would that. N in in more ways than one doesn't prove that you're a hero to women, McHenry. I respect people only if they truly respect themselves without trying to be somebody that they're not. McHenry needs to realize that in order to be respected and, and considered by people, it doesn't matter who it is, you need to respect yourself. You need to have consideration for yourself. You need to have true real consideration for yourself and true real respect for yourself no 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 not but not you you don't have no a person doesn't have um respect or consideration for themselves and saying oh i do have respect and consideration for myself and yet deep in within you you don't you can't you you cannot do that to yourself i mean you can but you're not really getting you're not sol solving anything for yourself you're not solving anything in, in general. This m video is, of course, logical MGTOW. That's why I'm wearing this. The star my Starfleet uniform. The basic fact is, is because I know many people know me as MGTOW Spock on through MGTOW. And of course, with the fact of the with the fact of the other fact of why I'm wearing this is because I believe in the future, a positive, bright future that the Democrats have tried to tear tear away from the American people. But getting back to McHenry, um, I don't know if Undertaker Freak would un um one twenty seven or one. 1127 or whatever it is um I would agree with me but um the the general the general act of feeling that you need to feel that you that to be someone else someone that you're not just to be feeling that you're getting the attention or acceptance that you want and feel that you deserve it's not is not the way to go. There are many people who will and can accept a person for who they truly are. But you can easily lose that 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 um, acceptance from people if you continue to do the very thing that McHenry's been doing. By, by claiming that someone he is not. One he calls him the Doctor of Booty Wishes, and um, and he calls himself the hero, two and four women. Um, he 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 has a lot. He has a num a good number of um, at least a fair, or at least a fair number of. Of um, labels to call that he considered himself, and um, and even with the base of Aspergers or attention deficit disorders, um, 
or or in another way of saying it, ADD. Mm. One doesn't need to claim that they are some something or someone they are not. I, of course, can say that I'm Spock, but the one thing is, is that the reason I say that is that I know, I know, truthfully, I'm not Spock, okay? But the basic fact is, is that I'm using the same logic he would if he was in this time. Granted, the character was played by Leonard Nemo. But if that same being that Leonard Nimoy played without anybody playing the character, and if that particular character was in realization, I'm sure he's using this, he would use the same logic that I am. In the same realism that I am, and that I have been. McHenry, um, you really, you really, really, really understand that I'm not, I'm, I'm not going against you. I'm not, I'm not putting this as a video towards a, an attack towards you or nothing. But the one thing is, I'm letting people know, and I'm letting you know as well. You don't need to be someone you're not to be accepted. Or even to feel accepted. You don't need to be in a particular way of hate or dislike or dismay or whatever the hell else. Just because you don't agree with, say, the MGTOW philosophy. And even if other people do, and you don't like that the fact that other people do, you cannot do a damn thing about it, now can you? You may think you can, but if you do that, you're going against the constitutional rights of every human being on the planet that goes and follows the MGTOW philosophy. We MGTOW will not go against your rights, your freedoms, your way of life. But the one thing is, is that McKenna, you need to realize you cannot stop things from happening when they could be serving a positive purpose. MGTOW, in the, in MGTOW is serving a positive purpose, even for this day and age. Little do you know, McHenry, is that there are many, many members within the MGTOW manosphere that have been through it maybe more than one time, maybe more than twice, maybe more than three to four times, maybe more than even Tom Likas himself. But each time they've gotten screwed over by the females. And yet, yet, um, you may call it, it, you may, you may think that it was the stupid, stupidity of the, of the particular male. Mm -mm. That's a fast judgment. You do not want to do that. Because once you do fast judgments. Once you do fast judgments. You're not helping anything. You're not so, you know, doing anything positive. All you're doing is sinning. By going against um, Mr. Hate Vicious. You're, nothing, you're not solving anything. You're not serving any positive purpose. You're not the hero for women either. Um, and trying to tear down their profession is not a hero for women. Uh, trying to to act like it, as if you know them when you really don't is not a hero for women. Um, being someone that you're not and and trying to uh, tear down the MGTOW manosphere is not a hero for women. It's your mindset that has uh, you essentially formed within yourself for the base of only one thing to start with. There's others. 
And that one thing is attention. Acceptance is a gift. And also, you want people to pay attention to what you have to say. There's other ways to do it without putting people down. There's other ways to do it without acting like you you are the top the top dog of every little fucking thing that there is in this in the in the known galaxy or in the known planet or in the voc in the English language, if you will. There's other, way, other ways to do it without making yourself look like a complete idiot. A complete fake phony. You may rant and against me. I don't care. But the basic fact is the more you rant against me or Mr. Hate Vicious or anybody else, doesn't matter who the hell it is. Even if you rant against MGTOW free, um, and the, the the MGTOW monks or the um, or Undertaker freak one twenty seven, you're not solving anything. There's many rants we can do um, against you because we we um, are. Show, I'm trying to show you that you're wasting your breath and time just to get to get the attention from others that that them within themselves they don't understand why there's a MGTOW and what the reason it make there is for MGTOW or any number of things as well. I mean, I mean there's just a wide assortment okay to that. But I can guarantee you, MGTOW, as well as myself, outside of MGTOW, have saved lives. Have helped people. In the real world. As well as online. But, McHenry, you need to realize this. I'm saying all this not only because I understand you. More than possibly you understand yourself, even with the, with the fact that you may may think that you do understand yourself. You may understand yourself to a point or to however far. The one thing is, is that you really need to take the time to really look within yourself. And I've told this to many people, even women themselves. You really need to look within yourself. Because we cannot help you unless you accept the help. We cannot accept you because you don't accept yourself. Truthfully. And logically and realistically. You can say all you can say that you accept yourself the way you are, even with the labels that you give yourself even on YouTube all you want. But you're not really being true to yourself. And you're not being honest with yourself by doing that. And the same would go with everybody else that goes the same down the same line as you have and are. I could I could easily sit here and say all the things that I've said to you, McHenry, on Instagram. I could, but I won't. And I know you're going to say, oh, I don't care if you do, right? I know. But guess what? I have more respect for people than you realize. Whether you agree with McTowell or whether you agree with religions or whether you agree with um, any any number of things, it doesn't matter. But the basic fact is, is that, McHenry, you need to realize we accept you for who you are as a human being.
but can you truly accept yourself for who you truly are? Without labeling yourself on YouTube as someone you're not. Just for the attention, just for the just for the numbers of followers. Yeah, I mean I'm I myself may not have followers while making videos. But the one thing is is that when it comes to many of my videos outside even outside of MGTOW, I'm putting out a I'm putting out something that's true. Realistic, factual. So is Mr. Hit Vicious. So is uh, Undertaker One Twenty Seven. So is many other people, without pretending to be someone they're not, or trying to put out some some fictitious bullshit that they're not, even about themselves. You're not an introvert. You're not even an extrovert, either. You really understand what an introvert is? You may, in your own understanding of it. But an introvert does not have any association with the outside world, even as they go about their own living. They don't care what you or anybody else says or thinks about them. But you obviously do. You may say you may say that you don't, but you I could say the same thing, but in, in some general fact of yeah, I could easily say I do. And many people it goes along the same lines. And many other But the one thing is, is that if we pay attention too much to it, of what people say, think, or even, or even, shall we say, mimic, or even in, in passing, say things in passing, even or even in secret, we're not really being who we are by allowing that to bother us. We're not living our own our lives. We're allowing other people to live our own lives by by saying who they view us to be and how we are. We can say and what what that we can say the way we feel that we are, yet yet still have that same the same aspect of worrying what people say and think about us. That's not what it is. Just think about, just just worry about you. Just worry about you. Think of think of many positive things about you and for you. Don't worry about anybody else, logically and realistically, and. That also goes with quit trying to make a cover up of someone you're not. It's okay to make labels, but you don't act, don't have to act as if you are the god of all women or God's gift women. Many many men that have Use the persona of God's gift to women. Mm, I can say that there's been a few that have gotten mm, a, a certain number of women, but uh, you know what happens to them? They don't turn any happier. They think they can by having the amounts of women. However, the one thing is, is because women can see right through. Women can see right through you. Seriously. So don't be a phone. If you or any MGTOW member want to agree uh, agree with me, fine. If you don't, I don't care. One thing, McKenna, you may need to think about this, of what I said. 
This is Logical Mink House Spock. Have a good day and please stay safe to all MGTOW members and and few soon to be future MGTOW members.